First up at 6 o'clock, new information on a Wyoming woman accused of stealing funds from a high school band booster club. Tonight, News 8 learning that the suspect, Crystal Molero, previously faced another set of embezzlement charges. News 8's Demetrius Sanders has been following this story and he has more on Molero's history. Well, just last year, Molero's probation ended for an embezzlement charge connected to a store in Granville. Now she's under investigation once again. Wyoming police say $35,800 were stolen from the Wyoming High School Band's Booster Club by the club's president, Crystal Malero. In Kent County Court, Malero is charged with embezzlement for using the funds for her own personal gain, but this isn't her first run-in with the law for similar charges. In 2020, Malero pled guilty to attempted embezzlement. According to court documents, she was one of three employees at Five Below in Granville, caught filling up shopping carts with items and walking out without paying. Malero later admitting to police she stole more than $11,000 worth of merchandise from the store over a couple of years. As a result, she was fined, ordered to do community service, and received probation from February 2021 until April of last year. Around three months after her probation began, court documents show she was first given access to booster club funds. Boosters clubs, uh, PTA clubs, even homeowners associations, you know, smaller nonprofits, churches. It is very common to see uh, embezzlements like this. Jason Zirkel is the training director for the Association of Certified Fraud Examiners. When smaller organizations face embezzlement, he says oftentimes too much trust is at the core. And it's not that trust is a bad thing. It's just that you need to trust but verify. To avoid embezzlement, Zirkel says separation of duties for smaller organizations is key. So that is one issue is when you have one person that's doing everything, then they have the most opportunity to steal the money. He also says there should be checks in place to ensure money is being spent how it's intended. That's where we tend to see fraud is that person ends up stealing the money and because they check their own work, they tend to get away with it for a while. Now, Malero's latest embezzlement charge carries a penalty of up to 10 years in prison or fines three times the amount that is embezzled. Brian.